All right, guys, let us start with 1.4. There is 1.4. Organisms can be classified as eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Tabulate three differences between eukaryotes and prokaryotes for how many marks? Seven marks. Okay, let us draw the table. And we need to make sure that we get all the marks. Now, we need to follow all table drawing rules. That is important. So the first rule is for us to write down the caption or the heading of the table. So the table um, that we are going to draw now, it's a table showing differences between, well, we can even say three differences, showing three differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes then you underline your heading you start your heading by telling us that this is a table okay what is this table showing us differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes i'm going to change my color and use black now there is three differences that we are going to draw our table will have two columns the first column I'm going to indicate on the column heading and say, okay, on this side, I'm going to be speaking about prokaryotes. Then on the second column, I'm going to be speaking about eukaryotes. Okay, very important. Then the first point, um, I'm going to speak about um, the nuclei. So organisms that are prokaryotes, these are organisms with cells and the cells um, do not have a nuclei so with no not that they don't have a nuclei they don't have a true nuclei or nucleus organisms with cells with no true nucleus so it will be the opposite uh, this side organisms with cells that have a true nucleus now in the same row you compare the same characteristic or whatever that you're talking about we are speaking about the nucleus in this in this particular row so in this side we are saying there is no true nucleus this side there is a true nucleus you can't speak about a nucleus this side then you speak about something else so that is very important then you underline to say we are done with this comparison all right um we can speak about um their genetic material or the dna is not enclosed by a nuclear membrane it normally occurs freely in the cytoplasm so we can speak about that um dna or genetic material is not enclosed is not enclosed by a nuclear membrane it occurs freely it occurs freely in the cytoplasm okay then on this side the dna or genetic material is enclosed by a nuclear membrane and in the cytoplasm okay done with that then the last one that we can speak about i'm just going to write the third one then that's it um monera are prokaryotes monera are prokaryotes remember in the kingdom prokaryotes we've got your monera which is basically bacteria then you've got your protista, fungi, plantain, animalia, all the other kingdoms are in eukaryotes. So protista, animals that we find, or not animals, organisms that we find in protista, fungi, plantain, and animalia, um, all of those are eukaryotic organisms. 
Okay, another one that we have on the memo is that no true organelles or okay. oh, oh wow, no true organelles occur in the cytoplasm for prokaryotes and for eukaryotes, true organelles occur in the cytoplasm. three two one all right let's move to 1.5 1.5 um this is a food web so the diagram below shows feeding relationships in an ecosystem name the type of diagram that is shown that is obviously a food web define an ecosystem for two months um this is a particular area there's different ways of defining um, this terminology, but there's keywords that need to be there. This is a particular area consisting consisting of all different of all different living organisms um, which interact with each other and their non-living environment which interact with each other and non-living environment right then you get your two marks explain the changes that may result in the in, well in the ecosystem i'm recording these videos at night after a long day but hey We've got this. Explain the changes that may result in the ecosystem if the carrots, grasses, and grains are removed from the area. In this particular ecosystem, in our food web, what are we removing? Carrots, there's carrots, um, grasses, if we were to remove the grasses, and grains. Ooh, ooh. Explain the changes that may result in the ecosystem if the carrots grasses and grains are removed those are all our producers those are all our producers they are the ones making the food so if they are now removed from the ecosystem hey batu what's gonna happen for how many marks two marks um rabbits mice grasshopper and the birds will lack food and they will die out um, as a result of foxes and owls. So there's different ways of answering this, guys. You can speak about the lack of food in this ecosystem. These ones will die. So you're going to mention the names of the animals. So all of these ones that are feeding on the producers are going to die. Why are they dying? Because of lack of food. Remember, their food is now removed from the ecosystem. They can also now die because of the... Um, the are we gonna call them not top carnivores so this will be primarily secondary consumers the owl and the fox right so they will die from um these two feeding on them so it depends how you answer it but i think the most correct one will be um speaking about dying because of no food okay i hope that makes sense uh draw a food pyramid to show three different trophic levels of organism in the diagram above now this is very important for you to note they are saying draw a food pyramid to show three this is important they're always going to indicate the number three four or five right different trophic levels of the organisms in the diagram above now it's up to you um, which organism you choose right so if for example you choose carrots so the only option for carrot, you will choose carrot, then it will be um, the rabbit and then the fox. That's the only option. Then if you choose the grass, there is a few options. Grass, rabbits, foxes, or grass, grasshopper beds, grass, grasshopper owls. Yeah, I think those are the few options. Then for grains, this is the first option, grains, mice, owls. A second one will be grains, grasshopper, owls, 
and the third one grains beds foxes so it's up to you which one you choose let me see if i have space um okay i'm gonna draw it up here okay you then need to follow the rules guys remember if you are making a drawing in life sciences it needs to have a caption so what will be the caption or heading for this um is it a food pyramid yeah a food pyramid a food pyramid showing what is it showing guys it is showing three different trophic levels of organisms showing three different trophic levels of organisms you write it in full so kum, kum. at the bottom you have the producer which producer for example the carrot um then the primary consumer is the rabbit and the secondary consumer foxes okay um that's all one mark will be for the correct diagram and the caption then another mark will be um for i think the correct allocation of the organisms no it was this would be one mark for caption and the diagram then one 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 that is four marks okay but remember i chose this one you could have chosen another one i showed you at the beginning so even if you choose the grains so these are your grains um then the primary consumer will be the grasshopper then the secondary consumer you could have chosen the owls or the beds so you don't necessarily have to choose the first one it's up to you as long as it has three organisms make a simple schematic diagram to show any three possible food chains from the diagram now this is also easy any three possible food chains from the diagram that means if a mark allocation now is three marks you're going to get one mark per food chain right and when they are saying this guys you're just indicating the words and the errors which are very important you are not now going to draw um a diagram or draw an image of any organism so already we have this we can take this one the carrots rabbits and fox um carrots then the arrow to indicate the flow of energy we said carrots then what rabbits then fox what's another option um grains rabbits fox or grass rather grass rabbits fox okay another one grass grasshopper and a bed grass grasshopper bed all right there's others guys maybe let me use different colors for y'all to understand you can use grains beds foxes you can choose that grass grasshopper owls i'm sure you understand this guys no ways all the best for your test and exam